All right, so I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on a new piece of software I learned about today um, from C. Lopez. Uh, so thank you, C. Lopez, for posting your video um, on a new program from Silence and Sound called Shove. Um, this program is going to allow me to use my push with my Studio One and it could be used with Cubase, Logic, Pro Tools, Bitwig, even Reactor in standalone mode. So this costs $12 to purchase. You are going to need this software and you're also going to need the following software called Loop MIDI Setup. And the Loop MIDI Setup is by this guy here. You can download it. Once you download the software, there's going to be an area there where you can donate. Okay. Let's minimize that. Here's the Loop MIDI. Here's the software. Hit Add. Create a name for it right here from now I've already created the name but that's where you would add the new name whatever name you want to give it all right so what I'm gonna do is go here and I'm uh, delete it because I don't need it but make sure you set it up as from lowercase from chef one set it up just like that just like you see it there um, once you set that up close that make sure your push is turned on and let's go ahead and open up studio one now I have studio one's uh, turned on we're gonna create a new song and then go up here to the top go to studio one go to your options uh, go to your external devices to set up new MIDI uh, devices. Um, I set up a new instrument. And then what I did was for that new instrument, I gave it the name Push 2. Came down here and used Receive From, Shove, and um, that's all you do. Select that, and then you're good. Make sure you select all channels. And then you're good. And then MMC. I go went to add. Scroll down to personas. Hit the little drop down. Scroll down and hit MMC. Uh, MC, MMC doesn't allow you to give it a name. And then for, for my from, I choose from chef one. So that's what that looks like, my MMC. If I'm click OK. So those are the two areas that I have there. Click OK. Now that you've clicked OK, we're just going to uh, select the instrument. Got it. Now we're going to make sure Shove is on. Go ahead and open the program. It opened up down here. And then hit On. Once you hit On, you can't see it because I don't have the dual screens. Your push comes on. Now you'll have access to your MMC controls, which is your play and record. You'll have access to all your pads. Uh, you'll have access to uh, the up and down arrows um, on the right at the top and the bottom. So just to get you an idea, at the top, the arrow up and down changes the mode. Pad mode, chromatic, in key, chromatic. Uh, just the way you, you would use the push in Ableton. I won't go through that, but pad mode will make it look like a drum pad. Uh, so you, you'll, see, you'll, see, uh, you'll see what that looks like. Uh, the next one is linear. So that's that. The left and right arrows changes this right here diminished major minor that all right when you go down to octave that changes the octave so you can see that changing right there 
when you hit page left and right that changes the note that you're in all right so the next thing is you can program the eight knobs at the top and you can program the eight buttons below those knobs so I've already done that here external again I gave it this name push so go here go to edit and you can see I've already MIDI learned the eight knobs and I've already MIDI, MIDI learned the two buttons So those are already programmed. So we got the thing in there, and I've accidentally sh closed shut by accident, and my push went off. So we're just gonna hit on again, and we got it back on. That is my push. All right, so that is the push. Um, so that's how it works. So it's pretty cool. I think you're gonna like it. Um, I think it is impact. I think impact is, I don't, some sort of drum pad. And I close shove again. And I think that's the biggest thing I got to get used to because I'm not minimizing it. So when you go to pad, as you can see, I'm hitting the pads. They don't line up exactly, but that is the pads all right so that's done um, so that's it for studio one hopefully that'll help you out uh, again you can uh, play and record let me turn it back on so you can see the play and record that's the record stop just like what you're used to and then for giggles while I have it open I was gonna see if I can get this to work inside the MPC 2.0 software mm, that would be a good bonus but if it doesn't no big deal all right turn on the software it on oh I'm okay so it's not working and I'm hitting on but I'm gonna turn off the push and turn it back on again because I just reset those settings so I'm gonna see if that does anything hit on oh wow it came on if you see the little pads are lighting up as I'm hitting the pads on the push oh wow it did come on okay all right let's see if it actually works now so let's go here and let's choose a plug-in. I'm doing this on the push, by the way. So it's it's you see it happening, but I'm doing it. I'm doing this on the live. My fault on the live. So as you already know, that inside the MPC software, you can't you can can't really set up the mini CCs to operate anything in this software but you can still use the pads as a keyboard so that's cool so you can use your push too with your 2.0 live 2.0 software excellent all right there you go thank you for watching and subscribe